Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you three easy vegan snacks that you can make in your dorm room. The first recipe is super simple, and it's for easy, oil-free popcorn. All you're going to need is a fourth of a cup of unpopped popcorn kernels and a brown paper bag. That's it. You don't need any oil or salt. Alright, so for this recipe, all you have to do is open up your brown paper bag, pour the popcorn kernels in, and then fold it up. I like to fold it over twice to make sure it doesn't come undone in the microwave. Then you're going to put it in the microwave for 2 minutes and 30 seconds, but make sure to stop the time if there is more than 3 seconds between pops, otherwise the popcorn might burn. Then all you gotta do is pour it into a big bowl, or if you don't have a big bowl, you can even keep it in the brown paper bag. All I'm doing here is putting my fingers in a little water and I'm lightly coating the popcorn in it because I find when you add seasonings, this helps them to stick better. And today I'm going to be seasoning my popcorn with some chipotle chili pepper. I like it because it's nice and spicy. But if you want to make your popcorn sweet, you could use something like coconut sugar and cinnamon. Or if you want another interesting flavor, I love adding hot sauce sometimes. It adds a really nice kick to it as well. And that's it. Just pour the seasoning on, mix it a little with your hands to coat everything. And you have a nice and easy, simple dorm snack. Great for late night studying as well. For our next snack, we're going to be making peanut butter and chocolate sweet potato snack bites. I know it sounds like a mouthful, but it's a delicious one, so let's go. So first you're going to need a small to medium sized sweet potato. Wash your potato and then carefully with a sharp knife, you're going to poke holes on the exterior surface of it. This allows more ventilation to get in and for the potato to cook more thoroughly. Then just put it on a microwave safe plate. I microwave my sweet potato on two minute intervals for about five or so minutes. And it's done when it is soft to the touch and the skin is a little more wrinkly. And all you have to do is cut the sweet potato in half. Should be very easy to do. And then you just scoop the inside out which is cooked. We're not gonna use the skin in this recipe. And for this recipe, you're also going to need a tablespoon of cocoa or cacao powder, half a cup of oats, two tablespoons of maple syrup, and a tablespoon of peanut butter. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to scoop the inside out of the sweet potato and put it into a bowl. And then you're going to mash it a little with a fork. And then pour in the maple syrup and the peanut butter and mix everything around until it forms more of a smooth puree. And then afterwards, you're just going to add in the dry ingredients, so all of the oats, and the tablespoon of cacao or cocoa powder. And then you're just going to mix everything together. It's going to get a little thick, so you might want to use your hands at this point. Then I'm just gonna scoop the mixture out with a one tablespoon measure, and then roll it into a ball with my hands. I feel like this is a really good size for snacking, and then you're just gonna continue making little snack balls until all of the mixture is used up. And there you go, don't they look super good? And I would suggest that you store these in your fridge because we did cook the sweet potato so they'll last longer that way, and I feel like they get a little bit fudgier. And the final recipe is for a vanilla chia seed pudding. So in a glass jar, you're going to add two tablespoons of chia seeds, half a cup of plant-based milk, because we should leave the cows alone, a tablespoon of maple syrup, and a fourth of a teaspoon or a dash of vanilla extract. Then you're just going to mix the mixture up with a spoon and cover it and put it in the fridge overnight. It may help to stir this after it's been in the fridge for about half an hour because sometimes the chia seeds get stuck on the bottom. And the next day you have a nice thick and creamy pudding. Now you can eat this on your own or you can make a parfait like I am doing here. So I added some freshly chopped strawberries, a little bit of toasted muesli, and then finally a drizzle of molasses to finish it all off. I think this would be a great afternoon snack or even as a dessert. And if you have any leftovers, just be sure to store them in the fridge.